America. Most of America was sleeping when the plane with the now former hostages landed at Joint Base Andrews in Maryland. President Trump and the First Lady greeted the three Korean Americans privately on board first and then publicly when they stepped out. One held his hand to his heart. The other two gave peace signs and later said through a translator that they are very, very happy to be home. They appeared to be in good health after being detained in labor camps for a year or more, facing a bleak future until now. Their release, the result of a meeting between North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and the new U.S. Secretary of State, Mike Pompeo. I think our Secretary of State, despite the fact that the New York Times said he was missing, he was in North Korea, but I think our Secretary of State has done a fantastic job. This morning, President Trump also acknowledged the grieving parents of Otto Warmbier, an American college student who was tortured in North Korea and died days after his release last summer. And President Trump is also on Twitter this morning tweeting about this welcome home for the three Americans detained for more than a year. He uh, tweeted on behalf of the American people, welcome home in all caps, releasing some new video inside the plane as well. 